doesn't look like he can be stood upon. Show me what you got concealed. Okay, slow down there, guard, so I can do usual introductions, if I can remember what I usually say here. Well, God knows. We're back with Kingdom Come Deliverance. We are the worst, Henry. We should be making every effort to make all the most evil decisions that we can along the way. And having just completed the introductory story quest, we should now get access to our horse. But first, Mr. Shakedown is here, demanding to look at our what? goods. For security reasons. And I'm not surprised, given how battered and bruised that I'm looking. So let's just let him search us. As you wish. Because although we are well. filled up oh, with poached gear, we did it in the presence of a nobleman, which makes it okay. It's also something I really need to take care of, so I need to go down to market and sell all of this food that I'm holding on to. But it'll be so much easier to go down to market if I have my horse, and Bernard here is going to sort me out with exactly that. Here we go. Are you ready? I'm ready, Captain. Good. Then follow me. Keep quiet and do exactly as you're told. And we're going to start by not doing exactly what we're told. I don't care. You to ride with my men. I expect you to listen. Yes, sir. Against all better judgment, they've decided to give you your own horse. The dappled gray beside my stallion is yours. Make sure you take good care of him. Now, mount up and ride behind us. I believe KCD was on a good sale in the Steam Christmas sale, but I picked it up before that, I think, in the November sale. Which still feels a little weird there, but all right, sales man. all the time. It was like their autumn sale in November, and I look outside, it's icy and snowy. But I don't know where Valve is set up. Maybe in their topsy-turvy land, uh, they have autumn in November. In any case, um, apparently there was some big fight over at Neuhof, and uh, I was allowed to join, provided I go and help them there. But I have no interest in helping out there right now, because I've got a horse, and I can move around all I want to my wonderful horse. But the first thing I'm going to do is offload all these goods that I... Um, acquired on my travels with the, the good Sir Hans. The first thing I need to get rid of is the food and Conrad Hagen I'll here. With you. I believe he sells food and people will generally buy anything they sell themselves. So if we go to sell here, he'll take all the hair. Good. Now I'm looking to make about 2,000 ducats so I can buy myself a considerably better horse. But that's not a huge priority now that I actually have my own regular one. That, um... Oh yeah, Cribbins, I need to go out poaching more. That is good money. Unfortunately, it's more money than he can uh, he can actually pay me, so I have to consider what else I want to give him. I'll give him this goblet that I picked up, why not? I'm not going to sell him weapons and armor, because those are better off sold to the armor smith and the weaponsmith. Which is not something I realized on my own. Somebody mentioned it during some other western RPG, and I thought, ooh, I bet that applies to KCD as well. And lo and behold, I believe it does. My god, save your schnapps, cost a lot out of you. What else would I be wanting out of you? And he's got some some nice gambeson. I'd rather just repair up my current gambeson, if at all possible. Otherwise, Hercules and his diet for strength training? That does sound good, but I'd actually like to get myself a wee cobbler. or well, cobbler's for shoes, maybe a tailor kit for my clothes. If I get one of those, he can pretty much pay me what the stuff is worth. So, I'll be satisfied with that. I'm not up for haggling for every last penny, so I'm not going to bother going through that. And also, if you don't haggle, you get reputation with the traders, which is good. Did we do the stables quest? I see you have a horse. Uh, just going through that saving of Sir Hans gets us that. Now, the horse here got pretty low stats all around, but what's more interesting to me is that the horse has its own inventory. Its inventory is 192 pounds, although some of that is taken up by its bridle and saddlebags. That's still really good. That allows me to go out pillaging a whole lot more. Because I myself only have about 40 spare pounds for things to pick up before I become overburdened. So, Mr. Armorsmith, uh, I wouldn't mind getting trained, surely. Can you show me how to repair armor and weapons better? Certainly. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. Right, nobody's going to teach me more advanced stuff until I learn the beginner stuff, and that takes a lot wow. of time in the game. So that won't be happening anytime soon. For now, though, let's just sell off the stuff that I've picked up and aren't interested in myself. Hmm. Oh, man. 
a Scalette's Waffen Rock. I do like the Scalette's colours. I'd like to wear that myself. But what am I getting rid of? Maybe these old nasty uh, done-in gloves. Actually, I might as well give him both of the gloves. He's got a good stack of cash. So I need to take everything I can out of him. I need to wear some shoes, though, surely. Surely, he says. Generally, though, I don't go for wearing much armor in this game. I have confidence in my ability to fight after beating up Nobleman and Bernard alike, so I'm happy to sell everything that's worth any reasonable amount of money. Then again, these fancy... these fancy knee-high leather boots have some decent stats to them, and I can't part with my beloved straw hat. And I need those Vem braces for when I'm shooting a bow, so those things have got to stay with me. Still though, 391, that's a decent chunk of change for me. So decent that I think I will haggle it Let's a bit. Let's have a word about the price. Aye. I'll... I wouldn't mind getting about 410 what for What do you say to this? Close. Okay, well he's willing to give me a whole five ducats I knew more. We'd come to an arrangement. I'll take it. Are you going to give archery a chance? A bit of grind required for it, but it sounds pretty villainy to get rid of nuisance before it has any chance to hurt you. I'm not big on doing the archery when I could just uh, go and choke them or stab them to death instead. Now, right now, yeah, I still can't, uh, still can't get stabby. I think you need a bit more stealth before you're able to do the whole stabby stabs. Wonderful thing about the horse is I don't need to uh, keep riding it around. You can just whistle and have it come to you, which I was later informed is a Skyrim mod. It's so good. Those vein is a little heavy, but it's better too keep them around, and I got some weapons and shields to be part of it. Once again, hit the armorsmith for it. The armorsmith? The weaponsmith. Come on, Jake. You know this game. Um, thinking about it, I should have spoke to the other guy about getting repairs done on some other things. Let's keep that, that bow in good order, because I'm going to be using that for quite a while. Otherwise, the rest of this stuff doesn't strike me as uh, worth... Oh, will he repair my hat? I like my hat. Let's try and keep it in good nick. And let's be selling off. I'm keeping that dagger, of course, but the hunting sword, the other hunting sword, that saber. Ooh, they're not going for good money at all, are they? I'll keep the shield. I do like having that shield on me, but... Wow, that's, that's pathetic money for these weapons. It's probably because weapons and armor are so common to pick up in the game that the game's not going to give you tons of dosh for them. So the big quest is for me to go over to uh, whatever the name of the place is. But I'm not really interested in that. I'd rather do pretty much anything else. So I want to... I want to... I want to... Yeah, I do not want to go and help out at Neuhof. I'd actually like to finally pick up a decent mace for myself. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to ride up and see the scribe over in Utschitz. Uh, Talmberg is the closest quick travel thing I have along the way. But if I go there myself, I'm actually going to unveil the map. So we are actually going to just enjoy a bit of casual horse riding. Yeah. So we're going to leave by the northern exit here and ride our way north up to Ulich. If you only fast travel through the map, you don't unveil the, the map itself. Which isn't really a big deal, but I want to. And if I want to, I will do it. And I reckon this is about twice as fast going by horse rather than by foot. And I don't even need to stop off at those folks and eat all their food because I am stuffed myself for now. So I want to go to Ulitz for two main reasons, although we might find some other reasons. One is I need to learn how to read. Reading will allow me to, well, read. And that's going to let me pick up skills from books, which I will purchase or uh, otherwise acquire along my travels. Now I'm going to have to open up the map quite a bit because I'm god-awful at uh, navigation, but I reckon if I just keep following this road vaguely north, we'll be okay. And you just hold shift and you'll go at uh, a reasonable rate, and once the horse's stamina bar is full, yeah. double tap, and off you trot. And another good thing about riding this horse manually is that I'm going to build up my horse riding skill. I don't honestly know what good that does, but... Actually, what does it do? Surely the game will tell me. Player, skills, horsemanship. Da 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 da. How much your horse will shy, how quickly it gets tired, and therefore how long. Oh, well, that is rather nice, isn't it? 
and getting heavy duty po uh, pony for carrying more loot. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Meanwhile, I've got a warfare perk. Bloodletting sounds good. I don't know how good a mace will be at clubbing people, but we'll try. Yeah. Stop by the miller for the pickpocket lessons. My god, I've been waiting on those for ages, haven't I? And I keep forgetting. Alright, screw it. I will travel over there swiftly and then I'll take the streamer route up. I don't know how I keep forgetting that, but I really need to learn how to pickpocket. It's of vital importance. Of course, if I get caught pickpocketing, it's a hefty fine for me. But I would generally just pay the fine. Eat my loss. It's a loss of reputation, I think, would sting a little more. Spiked mace like the Morning Star would be pretty good at causing bleeding. Well, the other, the second reason that I'm heading up to Ulitz is I want to um, do something to the bailiff there. Now, what exactly that something is, I haven't entirely decided, but I'm sure it will result in me having his mace and him no longer having his mace, or potentially even his clothes. Or his life. Right, 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 right. There's so many things with him. Uh, let's start with some training. I hear you're able to open locks without a key. Will you teach me how? Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. But now, pay close attention. Did that say I had 1.8 thousand uh, money? Ooh, that's pretty good. How am I doing on that anyway? Player, skills. Oh, well, enough for a little perk there. Lockpicks will be twice as durable and last twice as long. After picking, 20% broken. Well, I'd rather just not break the lock, uh, break the picks in the first place. I suspect I'll be picking a lot of locks along my way, but it's pickpocketing I need to know. Would you teach me something about the uh, milling craft? Like how to get things out of strangers' purses into your own? Aye, why not? You're handy enough. No doubt you'll master it. Come behind the mill where we won't be seen. I'll see you later. He's such a such a friendly guy, this Peshek. I thought he'd be a bit more I thought there'd be a bit more animosity, what with him having to pay for me to be here. Thinking about it, I might go and uh hey, I might go back. to the bathhouse as well. Don't you want a little wager on the Rate tourney? I really don't, Peshek. Go down to the bathhouse, get myself washed up, and have my clothes repaired. I don't know if that'll repair my gambeson. I doubt it. That gambeson probably counts as armor. God be with you. I think he keeps getting delayed by the dog being in his way. I keep stopping him there. I'll stand here and pretend I don't know you're there. You try sneaking up behind me without me seeing you, and take something from my purse. First, you have to rummage in the purse. The longer you do it, the better chance you have of finding something valuable, but also of getting caught in the act. Once you've found something you want, you've got to pull it out, carefully, but fast enough so I don't notice. Try stealing my dagger. It's there, mixed up with other things. I damn, could have gotten the dagger without having to buy one, but oh well. Alright, so you hold this thing down, you don't keep going until- Oh, oh dear. If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Well, that didn't go so well, did it? Oh, that's so Caught slow. You. If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. When you level up, these things go so much faster. I'd forgotten how slow it was to begin with. Right, so you hold this down until it gets a little too red, and then you got to scroll slowly over, get it, and away we go. I'll stand here and pretend I don't know. First, you have to once you've found trash pretty, sh pretty sure I just took your dagger there. It'd be nice to just knock him out right now instead. Maybe I somehow didn't take the dagger. Alright, well that's not worth our time. A bit of a balancing act. Sometimes you're not going to have enough time to act. Oh jeez. If it's far away, it's so slow to scroll here. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Well, at least I'm probably leveling up my pickpocketing as I try this. Doesn't help that I'm going the wrong way there. I'm actually uh, leveling it up at all with these so-called successes. Pickpocketing... It's at level one at least. A 
There we go, nice and easy. It's right there. Yoink. That's the way. I hardly noticed you were there. I think you're ready to try it out for real. Best practice on drunks and sleeping folk, so you don't end up in jail before you even get started. Thanks, Pashek. He's not wrong about that. You're welcome. But I'll be having that dagger back now. Now, you wouldn't have to teach me how to murder, would you? Or is murder a perk that we pick up? Uh, probably under stealth. That's the one. Stealth kill. Minimum level five. Oh, you better believe I want that. Now, like I said, this isn't a murder hobo run. We're not out to kill every last person around, but... You know, if, if the situation transpires that murder is the just cause for us, for Henry the Evil, then murder it shall be. Where's the bathhouse again? I think it's over here. It's one thing to be evil, but another thing entirely to be inappropriately clartered in mud and muck. Is this even the bathhouse? I'm probably off on that one. No, oh, maybe. I get them mixed up oh so often. You, bathhouse wench. What do you want from me now? Well, I don't want the attitude. I want the bathhouse services. I'm interested in your uh, services. So, what are you interested in? Fortunately, this is always really, really cheap. Uh, have a bath, launder my garments. I don't have any injuries to speak of. Proper bath. And my clothes need washing. As you wish. Do you have the coin? Ten whole groschen. Fine. Here it is. The idea of haggling, I'm that's sure a bit of a joke. I'm extremely satisfied. God bless. Now, there's a perk you can take to make this free, but why? Why would you want to cheapen such an already cheap service? I do not know. That's all well and good. Unfortunately, my wonderful Gambeson is uh, pretty much destroyed. It gives me almost nothing. But I do like the Dark Gambesons the most, so I'll be going with that. Do I want to have my Waffenshock on? I think it looks nice. And that's a good enough reason to go for it. Let's have it. Oh, now I remember the big, big good thing about archery in this game. Horseback archery is very powerful. You'll generally run circles around your opponent and just keep blasting them away with arrows. Okay, up north a bit and then yeah. follow the river. And that will eventually get us to... Ulitz. This is really the man who murdered the first killable NPC in Skyrim. Did I do such a thing? That doesn't sound like me. Sounds like the actions of an evil, satanic bastard. I definitely came along wrong side of the river for this one, but it doesn't matter. We get to enjoy the scenery, we get to immerse ourselves in riding around Bohemia on a horse. Are the nicknames in this game DDR Jake? No chance of the peasants calling you Chicken Chaser as you ride by. No, no Chicken Chaser, none of that. People don't really remark much upon you as you go around. Except if you're really dirty and smelly, they will tell you uh, what they think of you. And actually, if you dress up really um, regally or nightly, they will address you as such. I, I recall playing at one point uh, now, I don't normally play this game with armor on, but yeah. I was dressed up in full shining armor, and they said, Oh, what can I do for you, Sir Knight? It wasn't a non-playable character, it was an elf. I mean, the, the amount of racism they were throwing at me over an elf village. I don't think there was anything unjust about my actions. I think Ulitz is where the stables are. If I can make myself a little bit of money while I'm up there, I might just be able to afford the best horse in the game. But I believe that horse costs two grand. Definitely a worthwhile investment, though. Of course, some extra money for some better saddlebags and the like would be even better. So I might need to find quite a few people who are willing to part with their dosh. Yeah! It's okay, I'm sure Ulitz is the city that just wants to keep on giving for old Henry here. 
And even if they catch me in the act, what are they going to do? Throw me in the slammer? I've already taken the perk that reduces the debuff you get for going to jail. And jail, like many things, you can just sleep off. I believe it gives you a debuff for a certain amount of time, and that's that. Four. Bit tired after all of that. Let's go and take a break over here. Almost got myself beheaded by a straw roof. Who, who are these people? What is this? It's a baker. Hello, baker friend. God be with you. He is with me. He's got my back. Farewell. Oh, he's got some milk, some bread, some honey. He's got some friends, some villagers. Where exactly are we? Oh, we're over in the this place. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, while we're here, why don't we go and have a word with the folks? Fresh bread. Very handy, though, getting a fast travel point, too. I've graduated a bit beyond just punching chickens, but I haven't graduated from having a crummy weapon. If I can find the bailiff here, perhaps that bailiff has uh, something to offer me. Taylor. Taylor tempts me with uh, finally patching up this gambeson of mine. Jesus Christ be oh, but you're just a regular trader, not the... Not the tailor. Where's the tailor, then? It said I discovered it, but I'm not seeing it on my wee, my wee mappy thing. Is that a tailor? No, it looks like some kind of herdsman. The butcher, if you will. Do they even have a jail around here? What would happen if they locked me up, I wonder? Yeah, so the map stays permanently revealed after actually going through the area myself, but if you just quick travel through it, the clouds will not disperse. Oh, well, apparently I'm looking right at the tailor. There we go. They need to work on their advertising, clearly. Uh, uh tailor? Jinx, it's like you really do not want any custom around here. Now, as it happens, this tailor doesn't have any guard in the shop. They don't have stuff that's that valuable, but uh, no shop guard, no desire for custom. Let's just close this door a bit and have a have a wee private word. What out you, sir? I'd cost 115 to patch up my gambeson. That's a lot of money. But I want to have a decent gambeson, so I'm actually just going to take that. Oh, this is so much better than Skyrim and Tarion. It's chalk and cheese. Otherwise, what do they have? I wouldn't mind a wee tailor kit. Did I actually pick up a tailor kit myself? I thought I bought one. Or was I imagining that? Quick look at uh, what I have here. Is it under other? Yeah, I got a, I got a wee tailor kit. In fact, I could even tailor my own... All oh, right, no, I don't have the skill. I don't even know how you're meant to get your tailoring skill up because you can't repair things without the skill. So where do you get the the skills to level up from? Anyway, matters not. What do you actually sell here? I would like those kits. Oh yeah, you got a lot of clothes here. They don't sell for a huge amount, but they're not particularly heavy. Lots of waffen rocks. Ooh, a nobleman's hat. Tell me more about that nobleman's hat. Uh, do, do, do you have it on display? Perhaps I could try it out. <laughs> well, they really don't want to show off what they have here, do they? Still, though, they have a fair few things. I wouldn't mind that wee kit. And since he doesn't teach me anything, I'm not really sure I'd want to have anything to do with him. So how about I... Start off by closing this door, and maybe make a little bit of a ruckus in the rest of their house. Perhaps draw them out. Divide and conquer, if you will. Up here. Probably just have sod all to be robbing for now. Oh, very hard. I won't be opening that up then. While I'm at it, though, we'll see what they have. Just cabbage. Alcohol, uh, that's got a bit of value to it. 
I don't think you can hide stolen goods in your horse, though. The, the people aren't going to care about that. Oh, you on your own, Missy. That might not be very good for you. He looks like a hen. Down you go. Time for sleepy sleep. Time for sleepy sleep. Let's just drop you down here. And, uh... Let's not have you get back up. Now, where is the other guy? <clears throat> Ooh, I like his hat as well. See, this is a valuable lesson for traders around here. One, advertise better. Keep an open door policy. And second of all, invest in a shop guard. Now, if you don't mind me, I'll take everything of yours that has any real value. Ooh, decorated shoes. A nice sword. Ah, even that hat is nice. Oh, the key for the trunk, hopefully the one that uh, I was having trouble with earlier. And uh, how about you there, trader? Key, key, trunk, groschen. The rest of your stuff ain't worth jack. However, I... Oh, Rivens, where'd all their goods go? The whole point of killing you is stealing your goods. Hmm. What time is it? Ah, must have just been shut up shop time. Hmm. Unfortunate. Well, you know. They didn't die for no reason. We all learned a lesson today. And I have learned how to kill. So I'll we go over, grab our stealthy thing, and get stealth kill. You cannot equip the dagger, but as long as you have one, you can do the stealth kill. Absolutely learning that. And who knows, maybe we'll put it to use in this area. Ah, there's nothing worth having there. You really don't have anything here, do you? Bah humbug. How very selfish of them. Now, two ways to look at the stuff that I picked up here. I could wear it, but I mean, why would I want to overwrite my current hat? I, I can't see a reason for it. The best thing for me to do with the stuff that I've found, in my opinion, and it is just my opinion, is to store it until it's no longer considered stolen. Because otherwise, uh, if I get stopped and searched, it's just going to be taken straight off of me, and I won't be able to sell it. Now, what you can do in this game is go far afield and try to sell your stuff, but that takes a lot of time and effort, and they might still just go, no, nah, that looks stolen, and not buy it off of you. So I tend don't tend to bother with that. I was hoping for a bit more money here, though. They got an inn. I would rather like an inn. I don't know where this place's inn is at, though. Surely they'd have one, right? Of course. Let's go look around. Everything the traders have exists in the game. It should be in chests and storeroom. Oh, that's right, I didn't try and open the very hard lock, did I? I got the key for it. Consummate the keys you stole. Yeah, excellent point. I'd completely forgotten about that. I'm trespassing, that's alright, nobody knows. Oh no, it's still still locked up. I'd need a lockpick skill. Well, more lockpicking skill than I have. We got another thing here for me to check out. And hey, I won't get better at lockpicking if I don't try picking every lock I see. Been worth my time. Well, there is something to be said for taking deer hide. It does have a value to it, but it never never sells that much. Yeah, take it anyway. Well, let's keep that door closed. And to be honest, no one's going to find those bodies for a million years because nobody even knows this trader exists because they don't advertise. A bit bummed though, what I really wanted to get were, uh, were his goods. Yeah. But he must have shut up shop just before I came in and murdered them all. Now where, yeah. oh where, is the inn? Surely there is an inn around here. Found myself a grocer. Does that song go? Grocer Jack, Grocer Jack. Get off your back, get into town. Yeah. Fond memories of that song. They used to play it every morning at uh, some menial job I worked at. Yeah. It was actually pretty chill. 
Ah, lodgings. Just what the doctor ordered. Now, although I said I'm saving up this money, I could... Could, could, could speak to the innkeeper. Fearless Felix. Funny name, that. Ah, there we go, innkeeper. Good out to you, sir. Have you got a bed for the night? Certainly. For how long? How about if I pay you for several nights? All right. Money up front, though. Is this 200? Yeah, it is 200. Um, if you pay 200, you can always come to this inn for lodging. That's too much. That is very expensive, though, if you just take it for can one night. I do. For how long? Just the one night. No problem. Two whole groschen. See, that I'll pay. You'll like it here. Like sleeping on a cloud, it is. What's happening around here? Don't even ask. Things have gone from bad to worse. Nowadays, it's better not to stick your nose outside the door at all. All these murders. What's the world coming to? Where do I go to sleep? That's easy. As soon as you go indoors, at the end of the room on the left, there's a door leading to the chamber. Everything's prepared for you there. Nice. I was in one inn once and you had to climb up a ladder to go to your paltry little lodgings. But still, this is my room, right? Excellent. And that means I have access to my inventory here. Now, the reason that's good for me is that I can go and store my stolen goods. Uh, for some reason, the mead doesn't count as stolen, even though I just stole it. But I'll keep them there until everybody forgets about them, then I'll be able to sell them for their uh, for their real worth. Of course, I could go to the miller for it. I don't know why that didn't occur to me first place, but the miller isn't here. One thing that bothers me greatly, though, is you can't actually tell in your inventory what is still counted as stolen. I, I don't know why. It seems like a very useful thing to see here. Maybe there's a mod that still shows it up, but the, the little red hand doesn't isn't on it anymore, and it doesn't say stolen from da 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 da. So, who knows? Maybe, maybe someday somehow, someone will suss that one out. It's getting late in the day, though. I think I will actually sleep here, unless I want to explore. Well, it's good to unveil the whole of the town. We'll go out exploring a bit. If a guard catches us, we don't have stolen goods on us anymore. Well, for now, give it time, and then we'll head up over to Ulitz afterwards. Yeah. Everybody moans if you hit them with a horse, but as far as I'm aware, it can't hurt them. Archery range. Oh, I wonder if I could take the archery challenge while I'm here. It would be nice to walk away with a bit of extra dosh from all my troubles. Blacksmith yeah. here. I was hoping Henry would have a bit more affinity with the blacksmith that he finds going around being a blacksmith's son and all that, but as far as I'm aware, I think there's one quest line involving a blacksmith, maybe two, but nothing that makes you feel personally invested in Henry as a blacksmith himself. Oh no, falling off of places does not hurt the horse, but it certainly hurts Henry. That said, it's still more durable than that horse in Skyrim that would just die to the slightest breeze. Okay, anything else we haven't unveiled around here? There's something going on there, and something going on there, and even there. And I believe there's an archery competition I could try my hand at. I don't know what the... I don't know what we win for it, but I'll talk to him at least. Where was he at? That was you. I'll be with you. I noticed the targets. Are you an archer by any chance? I notice you're asking questions. Are you the Inquisition by any chance? No, I'm Henry of Scalitz. From Scalitz? I'm Vatek from here. Why are you so curious about the targets? It's just that I sometimes try my hand at archery too. Try your hand, do you? <laughs> I know plenty who do. When you can score as high as me at chumps, then I might be impressed. I've got no idea what you're talking about. Never played chumps? And you call yourself an archer? All right, Henry, listen up. Chumps is a game for real archers. It tests your strength, stamina, and accuracy. And it can be a nice little earner. Unless you're, well, a chump. So what exactly is it? I'll tell you. A bunch of logs are floated down the river. Then you count to 20 and the archers run along the banks after the logs. At the end of the course, someone collects all the logs and counts the strikes. 
Whoever has the most, always meaning me, wins the bout. Each archer has 20 arrows with their own colored fletching, and the contest ends when the last log floats through the finish line. Sounds like good fun. Fun? My friend, it will bring you out in a proper sweat, and you'll be well pleased to hit just one or two blocks. So how about it then? Fancy a bout. You'll need your own bow, but I'll supply the arrows with colored fletching. Well, I don't see why not. Absolutely. Come on then. Ah, uh, what's uh, what's the wager? Up. Excellent. Now you have to bet at least ten groschen, fifty at most. There'll be three archers competing at the time. The winner gets triple his wager, and the second gets his coin back. Nice. So I like it when it's not all for nothing. Well, why would we not go all in? No half measures. What's there to save for anyway? <laughs> That's horse. The over with. Now here A are better your horse. God be with you. Now here's hoping that the AI is as terrible at this as um, Sir Hans was at his... Uh, wait, where's my bow? Helps if I actually have it equipped, doesn't it? Is the hunting bow better? No, it requires a lot of strength and agility, which I don't have. Thankfully, Capone's bow is fine and easy. Now I'm not really convinced... Hold on, can I pickpocket you while we're doing this? You have no chance Bloody against hell, me, the took it. I'll admit there's a temptation here, whilst they're a bit, uh, bit busy. Got it. I've got this. Easy. Back trouble. Thank you. Now the range here ain't great. I'm not even convinced I'd hit something from here. Further. The current could sweep me to my death. Surely I can get a better target elsewhere. Oh, I can give it a, give it a cheeky try. Well, well, I've got to hit one already. 100% accuracy. Ah, you see. Should races always belong to the quickest? Quizzes always to the most intelligent? Nonsense to all that talent malarkey. You see, cheating is a talent that man gives himself. Oh god, I can't I cannot make that range. Can I get, you know, considerably closer to them? Where's the end point here anyway? Wait, fishing point? This game has fishing too. I think my best bet is to somehow get incredibly close to these and let loose all my arrows. I don't like the second villager. Or the first villager, I suppose, in the list. He's, uh, he's actually landing his shots. Where's the end point in all this? This seems like it juts out a fair bit. Is offing the competition a viable strategy? I wonder if they'd say anything about that. They probably would, though. Hit home. I don't like that, right? He's taken four shots and nailed three of them. Damn, missed. Oh no, oh no, get out of the water. That, pro that probably muddies my uh, my stuff, doesn't it? Well, not yet, but it will. I repaired my hat. Why does it look very not repaired? This isn't good. This is not good for me. Ha! Let's see you think and that. yet... And yet... Huh. Could I be a natural? Perhaps not. You have no chance against me, amateur. Yeah, that's what I worry about. Right. That's good. I'll try and maintain this as we go for the others. Oh, that was way down. Way too down. And that was way too up. Ooh, I might be a chump. I'm not here to be a chump. Ooh, this goes out a lot. And that's the end point right there. Ooh, okay. Right, can I get over to this? Right, let's, uh... Hmm? It ended? That's not very good. Didn't look like the end to me. Maybe there was a, a finish line there that I didn't notice. I thought it still had further to go. 
Or maybe, maybe I got like... disqualified. So, how did it go? Second out of three. Not exactly dazzling, but at least you weren't last. Here's your money back. Hmm. Oh well. Got my money back, had some good fun, learned a bit about archery, and on top of that, we uh, might just end up with some new loot. What else you got for me, sunshine? Um, hmm. Well, he might, uh, he might not have much on him now, but who knows what he's got back at his home. Need to find said home. Oh, arrows, of course. Can you float that chump down the river? The answer might surprise you. Off to Archery Valhalla with you, my friend. So, how many points is this worth? <laughs> Put my little flag fletch on him. There we go. I think we've all learnt good lessons today. Yeah, I said this would be evil, but I feel like the teacher of life here. <laughs> Get rid of your legal problems with this one sneaky trick. Coroners hate him. Oh, all in good fun. Question is, did I get my stuff dirty? I got my Vem braces dirty somehow. Oh, I wasn't wearing my Vem braces whilst firing. Ah, that's, um... That's not good. I'm lucky I didn't flay myself. Right, Pebbles. It's been a good action pack today for all of us. My question is, where's his home? Is there a place on the map called Vashek's house? He was Vashek, right? Oh, I'd, be, I'd be all day trying to find it. I do want to find every location in the city though, so that I'll know where everything is when I come back. So if I come down here, both left and right has something. Is this a bathhouse? It is exactly a bathhouse. What about over here? What is this meant to be? A, a miller? Really? Where's the mill? I, I, I suppose it's here then. I wonder if I can talk to the miller. Maybe he's got some interesting stuff for me. He's got a bed I can sleep in, but I think he would take offence to that of sorts. Who do we have here? Millmaid Jane. Now, Millmaid, you wouldn't have to have anything nice on you, would you? I'll take your pretzel, why not? And I will stand here and I will eat it in front of you. <laughs> Delightfully evil. Where is the actual Miller? Oh, he'd want to teach me more insidious arts. I'd, I'd eat from their pot, but I'm already pretty full of food. <laughs> That's some fable levels of evil. can feel yeah. the horns growing in now. That lassie in an hour or two is going to get real peckish. Reach for a purse to pull out that lovely pretzel, and there'll be nout to be had. And now, even if I get stopped by the coppers here, they won't be able to take the pretzel off me. It's in my belly. They will be able to take the stuff that I took off of Vashek, but honestly, he didn't have much of value. I just killed him because he was a chump. Tanner here, probably stinks of dog piss. Tanner's a very, very smelly job. I seem to recall the Stronghold Manual teaching me that. And with that, we know everything there is to know here, so we're going to head back to our lodgings for the night. Yeah. And then tomorrow's a fresh day, we'll head over to Ulitz. Sir, he's eating the evidence. Yeah, like all crimes. Only illegal if you get caught. Plenty of guards patrolling about, and I definitely do not have the wherewithal to take them down. Oh! Oh, the bailiff! 
Oh, my days, the bailiff. Mmm. Mmm. What happened to you? Wait, the bailiff here uses a sword. Your life is spared by your poor choice of arms. Alright, well, hit the door, we'll sleep and save, and then we head up to Ulitz. All during this time, people are wondering where I am, because I'm meant to be at Neuhof investigating the goings on there. Uh, I'll just wait until I have full energy. Night time's a bit of a pain to travel around, but I could make good use of being around places at night time. Sleeping in an inn is great for getting your energy back. You get so much of a sleep bonus on a good bed. You can get a perk that reverses it and it's better to sleep rough, but I'd rather just sleep very well on comfy beds. He heard the mace hunting hobo exists and decided to play it safe. Wonder where he lives. Honestly, he should be punished for his ways there. Uh, no, somebody told me to equip the torch. You just hold number one. Ah, oh, that's amazing. What's al what's also amazing is making sure that my stolen goods stay here until they're no longer stolen. Now, somebody said that my mace is stolen. It's not. That blood thing there means that it is clartered with other people's blood. Which is not my problem. Anything else I need to ditch right now? Oh, I never sold that cumin bow, did I? I need to find someone that'll buy that. For now, I'll just store it here. Alright, upsy daisy. Wonder if he would notice me pickety pocketing him. I'll take his keys. I don't even know where for, but. Really, the pickpocketing is just to level up my pickpocketing. I doubt I'm going to find somebody that has such amazing stuff on them that I uh, am desperate to empty and clean. If I really want to empty and clean, there are other better ways to do that. Speaking of, I wonder what they keep in the cellar here. Don't mind me, just pirating this food. Not bad, but not really worth my time. <laughs> Good thing the guard didn't notice me there. Right, where to now? I need to head generally... Mm, well, generally northeast. God knows what I'll find along the way. As long as I just point myself in that direction and go, it can't be that bad. This torch won't wear out and we are fully rested. Yeah. And a nourishment level is fine. Main downside is it can be a little, little bit hard to see, and I'm going the wrong way. But if I just find a path and follow it, I'll be all right. There is a, there is a chance I will be accosted along my travels, especially at night, by highwaymen. But that's just the risk that the worst Henry is willing to take. I'm sure we can handle them. Is the map going to tell me anything about the road I'm taking? It's actually kind of going to take me the wrong way. I should back up a bit. And then turn right. Yeah. Oh, see, when you're so stealthy, it doesn't matter if you have a torch on or not. I don't actually know mechanically if having a torch out yeah. makes you less stealthy, but it's really hard to see without one. And no, I'm not turning up my monitor brightness. extra experience riding around your horse at night time. This certainly seems like it would be far more difficult and dangerous. How in God's name is the horse seeing? Do horses have really good eyesight? That sounds like human noises. What is going on at this interesting sight? Oh! Somebody who's made a wee well thing. I bet that's making the noise, some kind of uh, automated hammery thing. Well, good on them. Evil needs infrastructure. Yeah. Speaking of which, Hearts of Iron is actually on the mind. I need to relearn that game. Maybe last night I was just thinking, man, I really want to fire up Hearts of Iron. There's a lot of games I want to be playing right now. 
and also streaming. And on top of that, awesome games done quick starts really soon. Oh, oh, who do we have on our travels here? What's your name, friend? Care to talk to me? He doesn't care to talk to me. Well, then I. What the? You thieving magpie! No, no, no! I'm not thieving anything now. Get yourself down. Get yourself down. Time for a nice bit of sleeping. Now, what do you have, Wayfarer? Oh, he's got a new hat. How's my hat doing? My hat's on its last bleeding legs. Off we trot, and I'll be having your one. Ooh, ten groschen as well. Nay, too shabby. The rest of his stuff is useless, and uh, so is his life. Not murder hoboing. I just uh, couldn't handle the embarrassment of somebody else dressing the way I am. The downside is that hat now counts as stolen goods, so let's hope we don't get searched or else I'm going to have to be on the hunt for another hat. I'm still heading northeast, which is fine. I've kind of lost track of the track. Is this the track? I'll believe it is. And then I suppose yeah. from here I want to head a bit more northish. When I saw First Henry in the title, I wonder if he's going to be the worst as in the most incompetent. No, I hope not. We've only been yeah. to jail once, and that was by, uh, by decision. We chose to go to jail. Otherwise, we've gotten away with all of our nasty goings-ons. So no, certainly not incompetence. That's one criticism that this Henry will not be fielding. Ooh, what have we here? Shrine, a small settlement. I don't actually mean to have my bludgeon out. Let's put that away for now. Nah, it doesn't seem to have anything valuable, like bailiffs with maces. Does Bloody Club raise any suspicions? I suspect it makes guards more eager to search me. But bloodied weapons make you more intimidating, so if you go for a martial approach when negotiating with somebody, a bloodied weapon can help tip the scales. Give you that extra boost of looking mean. We're going a little too east and not enough northeast here. In fact, it's curving dangerously south. Where in the dickens am I? Ah! Ah, well, actually, I can turn up north from here quite nicely. Yeah. But first off, what is this? Inn in the Glade. Oh, I think our psychopathic friends are here. Although they're probably asleep. It still seems like people are up and about at this hour. This hour being 3 a.m., almost 4. Villager, villager, alehouse maid. Villager, villager. Hey. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to leave here. What is it you want here? I want to find my old friends. Maybe they're not here. <sighs> Still, though, people up and boozing at this hour. That's off to them. Everything's locked up, though. I'm actually surprised people are moving about as they are. Well, at least we know where this place is, and look at that, a fast travel point on top of it. We'll hit that up, but we're still heading north, because again, old Henry boy needs yeah. to learn how to read. Could be a fast travel point around here. Perhaps I already unlocked it, in that case off yeah. the trot. I'm not opposed to galloping around the countryside, though. Fast traveling is a bit of a misnomer. It's kind of slow. Faster than galloping around, but at least when I gallop around, one, I level up, and secondly, it's it's just quite enjoyable. It's a little bit more enjoyable when it's light out, but still. Oh, yeah, yeah. Horse isn't liking that. I'll hand it to Henry, though. He can really... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa, boy. Oh, double boy. It's an ambush. And I can't see a damn thing. Unfortunately, my enemies can. Uh, game, I, I cannot see. Like, 
like, I, I am just getting beaten up in the dark here. Oh boy, where is my torch? Uh oh, oh, they're bringing out the real, the real goods now. the end of poor Henry here. And my horse isn't coming to save me. It's probably too spooked. Yeah, even if I fight back now, I'm bleeding out. Game over. So, it's a bit risky going out at night like that. And it's going to take me to the last place I saved, which... Oh, that's going to undo all the exploring I did. Painful stuff. <laughs> Thus ended the tale of Henry the Worst. Well, the first Henry the Worst, at least. Okay, well, we're back here, at least. I suppose the only thing I've really lost is that hat of mine. Gotta hand it to those folks. They were ready for me. Oh, you didn't see anything. Can you become a proper knight? Well, it depends what you mean by proper knight. I don't think you'll get titles, although I'm not entirely sure. But you can certainly dress up like a knight, be armed like a knight, and take actions like a knight. Alright, back out we go, hopefully with considerably less dying. What really did mean was not being able to see there. I think every time they tackled me, I was unequipping my torch, which is unpleasant for me. I need that torch to see, and they can see in the dark. Uh, where's the fast travel point again? Isn't it around here? Maybe I already had it. But yeah, the... Um, oh, I'm, I'm thinking about the wrong place. Yeah, I need to unveil the map once again. Might have been clever to actually stay at the inn, or save up there before heading out some more. Hold on, I'm going the very wrong way. What's going on with me here? Okay, well not being able to see is uh, doing me in. Maybe I really should have slept until daylight. Yeah, daylight might be the answer here. It's way too dark for me to navigate around here. less chance of getting butchered in those attacks. If I could see, I would have gotten over to my horse and legged it. But that certainly wasn't happening. Just fast travel, says Kaiser. No, I want to open up the map. If I don't, if I fast travel, I'm not going to be able to see my way around the map. Plus, I won't level up my horsemanship. Okay, at, at some point I should just get off here. Riding the horse is probably working against me for finding my bearings. Where is... Okay, the lodgings are right over here. It's ironic you discovered the map at night time, eh? I wonder if irony is the word for it. Right, sleepy sleep time, whether you want to or not. Let's at least have some daylight. And I'll get a bit hungrier, meaning I can tuck into the inn's finest lentil mash. The game does have music, but I wonder if it's a little too quiet. Pate Noster, qui es in seris. Santi Fitzsimmons, in nomen tuum. Veniat re... Although it still probably can't be heard much, that's okay though. Ah, there we go, now I can actually see. Put everything away. Get our trusted horse. And then off we go north. Yeah. See, my thinking was I wanted to arrive at the next place at night time because people will be asleep and I can do all sorts of mischief. But on reflection, 
I can just yeah. wait till nighttime when I'm there. Do miss having that hat. Long we go, long we go, and what we got? Nothing. And yet at the same time, everything. Not willing to be caught, you'll go and tell on me, and I can't be having that. I don't want to miss out on those groschen. I think I'll leave the straw hat. It would be a pain to lose one that I've stolen, and I can just go and find someone that can fix up the one that I do have. There we go. Retracing our steps like a pro here. Death can be a hell of a setback, though, if you do a lot without saving. Kills the traveler for his hat, leaves the hat. <laughs> I've still got the old hat. Still hear the uh, the hounds of potentially the same poaching group that killed me before. No, no, I was past the the halfway in last time, wasn't I? Another wayfarer. Yeah. These woods ain't safe, chief. I have to go and check the map a lot, but that is just my incredibly terrible yeah. navigational skills talking. I can't maintain an image in my head of a map that I'm trying to traverse. <laughs> it says another wayfair, you see just another. Well, it would be nice to be able to maintain the hat that I have. In fact, I wonder if I can even use my tailor kit on the hat. No, I can't, see? What does it take to fix a hat? Wouldn't be a cobbler yeah. kit, that's for shoes. The captain is going to chew me out so much for not coming for duty. I can feel it already. Maybe I can take a bit of a yeah. shortcut through the forest here. Isn't it possible to autopath your way to the destination without fast traveling? I don't know. I certainly don't think so. Is getting a little knackered. We'll take it a bit slower. All the more reason I want to get a new and better horse up at Ulitz. Yeah. Which I think is where you buy horses. Now that I think about it, I could be wrong on that. Come on, up we go, horse. You can't trade in pebbles, but I must. Pebbles ain't worth a lot of money for a trade in, but I will be trading her in. Goodness, this is fun. I wonder if I'd see a bit better with my torch out. If I do see a deer of sorts, though, I'll be tempted to bring it down. Can I do archery on the... Yeah, I can do horseback archery. Even though we're likely terrible at it, if I do see a deer... I wouldn't mind harvesting it. And then selling that on, because it was good money for the meat. And on top of that, there's a lot of space in my saddlebags now. For all sorts of ill-poached game. Can't hunt the most dangerous sport of all, sadly. Not yeah. for its flesh, at least. Wrong game for that. Oh, it's a roe hunting spot. Again, I'm not sure if that meat would count as poached. 
why would there be a wall at the hunting spot? Apparently it was just back there. I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind killing something for it. If I can find one. Yeah. Ah, well, there we go right there. Hold on, pebbles. I've got some money to make. Well, not with shots like that, I don't. What kind of arrows am I even using here? Hunting arrows. Maybe I should use the stolen hunting arrows instead. Well, the long distance stolen arrows instead. Gittish little buggers. Ah, you there. You've got the death wish. Oh, that must have been a direct hit. How could that not have been? I'm sure, I'll nail you eventually. There we go. Down and out. Forty-five of them at twelve value apiece. I just hope I can find a buyer up in Ulitz. And it does count as stolen. Ah, that's a problem. Yeah, poached meat. Poached meat ain't gonna sell. Although, maybe a miller would buy it. Still, that's unfortunate. Didn't count as stolen when I was out hunting with the Lord, but maybe that's how it works. I mean... It is his land, and he has given us express permission to hunt with him. Yeah. What if you cook it? Will it still be stolen? Do not know. But if we find an opportunity to cook it over in Ulitz, we will give that a go. Ulitz is... Oh, Ulitz isn't that far, in fact. Yeah. Just gotta follow this road along. In fact, if we can see it over there. Coaching, stealing, killing, all at the same time. I can see your serotonin rising. I don't know what serotonin is, but I'm not a biochemist. The happy chemicals. Okay. Plenty of happy chemicals flowing right now, I'll tell you that much. I am 90% certain this is where I can buy yeah. some horses. Got ourselves the butcher there, although it didn't suddenly show up. Right about yeah. here. This feels right, and it's daytime, so people are out and about. Yeah, here we go, the horse trader. I won't be able to afford you, but at least I'll get a feel for you. Head groom, day, talk to me. I'd like to buy a horse. Well, now. Have you seen our steeds? I have. Fine animals. Nothing but the best here. Is there one in particular you fancy? Right. No point not going for the tier 5 ones here, but what is there? Slepnir and Kanthaka. Ah, uh, I'll miss him. He's a gentle, loyal stallion who obeys without hesitation. 2.7 thousand, holy moly. Surely you'll knock something off the price if I trade in my old one. <laughs> Pebbles just ain't worth it, I see. Maybe some other? Strong and swift, and there's none as brave. He'd carry you to hell if you wanted. Maybe some other? That's funny, these are not the horses I'm thinking of. Are there other horse traders in the game? <laughs> Whether there are or there are not, it would be a good idea for me to get myself a four saddlebag thing to carry a lot more goods. Mm -hmm. There are a few, I believe. 
I feel like there's a horse, and they talk about how much it stinks. And I think that's the best horse around. Because if you're going to buy a horse, there's no point buying anything other than the best, because you'll just be uh, paying each time you want to go up a tier. Paying 300 for the saddlebag. Well, I know I can't afford the, the best horse just yet anyway. So I might as well get the saddlebags to make my uh, my current one as good as possible. Are you going to buy anything that I have, by the way? Like this, uh... Oh, you don't know this roe deer is stolen. Well, that'll chop a nice bit off the price. Why does it not chop as stolen anymore? Maybe it's only stolen for a very short period of time. Also, take this Cuban bow. I don't want it. Yeah, that'll work nicely. And then, uh, pebbles. You. Wait, how do I, how do I work this? I think I move that to my inventory. And I move my saddlebags to you. What does that come under? <laughs> Armor, apparently. Move that to the horse. And then you equip this. And then look at that, a hundred more pounds of stolen goods can be kept on pebbles. And I'll need to sell the old saddlebags while I'm at it. Yeah, he's probably wondering why he bought that bow off of me. There we go, it's not a lot, but... I'll just get it done, at least get a bit of reputation for doing that. Where are those awesome horses then? Speed, capacity, courage, stamina. I like the look of that Kathanka. And then, who was the other one? I don't think Pegasus was the other tier 3 horse. Hard to keep an eye on all of these. Was it you? I'm mostly looking at capacity, to be honest. 228 capacity? Mmm. Well, honestly, what does it matter? I just want the money to get myself a lovely tier 5 horse and call it a day. Is there a consequence for stealing? Well, stealing horses, they won't come to you when you whistle for them. You need to own the horse for you to be able to use it like that. As far as I'm aware, at least. Now, I'm not... I don't know this game inside out. Far from yeah. it. Just going by my experience so far. I want to find lodgings here. I'd hate to... I'd hate to die after yeah. making it to Ulips. If you don't get caught, there are still consequences. The people in the area are going to have a lower reputation with you. Perhaps not you specifically, but they'll be less trusting of people around the around the place. Yeah. The traders will be less willing to trade. You'll be searched more often by guards, things like that. People will have a bit of yeah. attitude for you as well. Now, where is the bailiff of Ulitz? It's probably going to be up and yeah. closer to the center here. I need to find him, and I need to rid him of the burden, the burden of combat. He shouldn't need a mace. I, however, do. Let's get off of you and start walking yeah. around here like we own the place. Oh, I came a little too far to the side, but if I walk up and just go around the center here, then that'll be fine. The horse demands to see the receipt before he reacts to any whistles. Well, not far off, they just, they magically know if they've been stolen or bought. Well, they are intelligent creatures, are they not? These onions will make you weep like a baby. But, oh, wait until you get them in your mouth. Yeah, no, I think I'll pass on that. There's a trader here. What do you, what do you trade God in, my friend? Oh, he does all sorts, meaning he probably buys all sorts. But I haven't really picked up anything to sell for a while, have I? Oh, is private. I wouldn't mind murdering him and taking his stuff, but his stuff is... Well, some of his stuff is alright, like the, the kits and the potions, but... Oh, right, he has a guard. Well... Garlic, beetroot, as you should. Be on your way. What do we have here? A scribe. Right, the scribe is who I'm coming here for. I need to learn how to read. And this guy will teach us exactly that. Hello, friend. Good day to you. I'd like to learn to read. You? Hmm. You don't look like the makings of a priest or clerk. But why not? I've taught all sorts. Bear in mind, it won't be all that easy. 
You'll need plenty of time and a few groschen for my trouble. All right. I don't want to waste time. We can get started. The sooner I master it, the better. Very well. I will require some groschen from you, though, and set aside at least a couple of days so I can put you through your paces, if indeed time is of the essence. Here are your groschen. Then we may as well start. Eating into my horse fund here, but it's okay. Although I want the better horse, I can always just come back and get one when I have the money. He did break his vow, but better than to dishonor it here. May he follow his heart. Wake up, lad. It's time we were getting on. So, let's see you read a bit. There's a book here on the table. The real Try challenge. Will Didn't I, I do this in the, the weekly one shot? It's a simple text. Come back once you've worked your way through it. Can't claim to remember. You did. He took your hat, Jake. No, oh, I've got my hat on. It's just that the hat doesn't always show up in cutscenes. Right. Oh, I don't want to read any of this. Uh, heavy lead trick toko pure gold every morning same thing grew grew goose yeah, can can I not? Let's just say we read it not. I've read the book. Wonderful. So tell me, what have you learned? Ooh, um, that being greedy doesn't pay. Excellent. You're one of my most talented pupils. You've uncovered the meaning hidden in the letters. Like I told you, books are valuable. And the words that you place in them ought to be no less so. Does that mean that I can read then? Yes, you have the foundation. Remember, my boy, the pen is mightier than the sword. To fully learn your way around words will take a lot more reading yet. Now we'll move on to the second lesson, which will be much harder. Many books are written in Latin the language of erudite and religious men. If you really want to be able to read, there's no getting away from Latin. There's a book on the table with some text. Read it and then come back. You need not understand it, but you should master the letters. I only just managed the fable about the goose, and now you're asking me to tackle Latin. <laughs> you're a clever lad. You'll manage. I don't like this guy's attitude, but... I'm sure he'll get what's for. Okay, Latin. Let's have that. I actually worked with a guy that knew Latin. Uh, oh, crikey. Uh, hmm. Don't mind that noise. Or that little pop-up. Oh, well, who the heck is... Okay, well, never mind me. I read the page. So tell me, Distrupule, what's written there? I'm not on a timer for this one. Uh, well, um, oh, I, I, I've accidentally tabbed out of the game here, but uh, don't worry about that. I'm certainly not worrying about Let that. Us Oops. Set libertine malus, uh, uh, ut non aliqua part drop it. Not bad for a first try, lad. See, when I uh, tab back into the game, it takes the first choice that I'm on. Which isn't good for me. Tried to tab out and uh, do that, but... This time. This time for sure. I read the page. So tell me. Dullest liver. Damn. Uh, Nullus S Libre. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, Good heavens! Don't tell me you haven't had lessons before. Excellent! Don't mind me, I need to close something else on my oh, screen. There we go. You. Congratulations! You can go and be ordained right away. Thank you, Domine. I'm feeling a lot uh, wiser. Excellent. Right, now that we can finally read. What do we get? Colleague, books are cheaper, or when reading you'll get tired and hungry twice as slowly. Definitely that one, because you sink a lot of time into reading. 
Now the slight problem here are the people here. I feel insulted by this scribe a little bit. I hope we can feel the danger welling up. Now before I slaughter you, do you sell anything I'm really interested in? Uh, actually a skill book on reading might not be a bad one. If I learn to read better first and then get on with the reading, it's probably quite good. Not sure I want the lore books, but skill books are good. I'll take both of those. Yeah, I'll just, just close the deal here and now. Now, are you going to notice me? I wonder. Well, let's see what happens. Hold on, he's... He's got immunity. Immunity to my foul ways. Maybe you can't kill him because he's important like that. Curse you. I mean, I can deal with this villager, no problem, but you. This guy's pen certainly is mightier. Sometimes I wonder if it is chair armor. I have seen times where um, people sitting down at this specific kind of desk just do not eat my kills. Damn him. What does the world come to where evil cannot triumph?